Yo, what's going on? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make. Well, this is like a part two to the custom leaderboard one that I already did before and stuff like that. This one is like it's gonna include teams this time, so like you can say like it's like a part two, a better version and stuff. Now, this is a commission. Like someone asked me to do this and stuff already. That's why like the UI is like has that special font and all that stuff. So this is already pretty much pre-made and stuff like that because obviously I don't feel like retyping the script nor do I think I can really remember it off the top of my head. Like I probably would like, I remember most of it, but then like probably went into some issues and stuff like that. So we never go try that. But yeah, if you haven't watched part one, let's we'll definitely go watch part one. Cause I mean, I'm gonna show y'all how to do it from, I'm, I'll show y'all from the start, but really I'm gonna just summarize that and focus more like on the new thing. Okay. So pretty much the difference, let me go ahead and show y'all. So if you remember the first one, we have the custom leaderboard here, right? This time we have teams now, as y'all can see, we have choosing, oh, we'll ignore this part and stuff like that at the top. But yeah, we have choosing, civilian, like we have four different teams, right? Pretty much and stuff like that, right? And you see how my name goes under one. Now, depending on whatever team I'm on, it'll change. So I'm currently on choosing team, but if I change my team to, um, say, continental army, uh, it should have switched. That's weird. Mm, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It should have switched. I think I might have forgot something. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I forgot. Player dot. This is not trying to type this from scratch. Player dot team changed. I think we use it like this. Yeah. Hmm. Eh, no, 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 no. If I figure that out, I'll just include that in the script at the end. But no matter, it doesn't matter. But the point is, though, depending on whatever team you're on when you join the game and stuff like that, that's whatever team you'll put you on and stuff like that. Now, obviously, you guys can script like a button or a part or whatever to where when you switch teams, it automatically updates your team on the leaderboard and stuff like that. If y'all do want uh want me to include that, let me know in the comments. I'll figure it out. It'll take like five minutes and stuff. But yeah. So pretty much I know we have our leaderboard updater, right? You're going to need to go into replicated storage and make sure you have your update leaderboard events, your player image label, your player label text. Keep in mind, like we already set all this stuff up in part one, part one, right? So if you haven't watched part one, go watch that because I'm not really going to go through the whole process of setting this all up yet. So it's pretty much all the same thing here, right? The script doesn't change. Now if we go into leaderboard GUI, things change. You also need teams, by the way, so yeah, just make sure you have like all four, like or however many teams you want, right? So we head into the leaderboard script. It's a little bit different, right? So we have this if player dot team equals pretty much if the player's team is um what's it called? Is British Army, uh civilians, continent, whatever. It will set the layout order, which pretty much means like the order it'll be in like within the frame, I guess we'll say. Right, that's how it knows, like, we'll say, I guess, where to place it and stuff like that. So, pretty much, you could just play around with the layout order until you figure out, like, how it works. For me, uh, I got it to where it's 2, 3, 5, 7 and stuff. To be completely honest, I don't really understand how it works, but you just play around with the layout order. You guys will understand what I'm saying, right? And then, so pretty much, you would just set them to that and stuff. So, pretty much, everyone who's on the British Army, British Army team will be uh, their player label layout order will be five and they'll all be between the british army uh text label and, and they'll be below the british army text label and above the continental army text label and then vice versa for the other three teams and stuff like that then you already know when a player leaves you destroy it and stuff like that and then also oh yeah see i knew it i forgot okay never mind okay guys we can't do it all right player that team that change function there we go okay so yeah, we were just adding in that part. I knew it. I'm like, I'm like, I swear I already did this before. I guess I just forgot to add that part in. Anyway, so this is the team updater. Pretty much any time a player switches teams and stuff like that, it'll update and stuff like that. I personally would like, I would recommend you guys just use this to, to be completely honest. Like it just makes the most sense because it's like, it's universal. So pretty much if the player's, um, what's it called? If the player's team changes at all on the server side, um, it'll automatically update and stuff like that. So it's it's simple. It's simple. You don't have to like because if you say if you have like different ways to switch teams, like you may have like a 
command, like a message command. You might have a UI and a part. Like that means you'd have to script three different methods when you could just have one function that just checks or fires. I, I should say that fires the remote event every time the two changes at all and stuff. And down here, you don't have to include this. This is just something I made uh, and stuff like that. This is how you close the UI, right? Like if you want to like, we'll say like turn off the UI. Yeah. I just have it to where like if a player clicks tab, you guys can change the key if you want. Um, it will disable the UI or like it'll pretty much just like shrink it and then if they want to re-enable they can just click tab again. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I mean. I'll demonstrate both real quick. But I hate but they need to fix this. I like, I don't know if this would happen to anybody else, but I hate this. Anyway. So yeah, if I go in game and I click tab, you'll you'll everybody see huh? Boom. It just shrinks, you know. It's tweened, it's animated, it's nice, it's nice. I know, I know. But yeah. So it's that simple and stuff, right? But also here, let me show you guys the team change thing. It should update now. Keyword, it should, right? I'm very confident it should, but I don't want to look stupid at the same time. All right, change my team to Continental Army. Um. Okay. Not sure what this. Is. You know what? I'll figure it out after the video ends. And don't worry, when y'all see the script in the comments, it'll work. It'll work to pretty much wherever the team changes, it'll update and stuff. But yeah, this is part two for the um, custom leaderboard. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see y'all.